The debate over reopening school districts continues to divide Western New York. Good evening, everyone. The CDC now says it is safe to send students back to school five days a week, but that does not mean all school districts are on board. Now, the CDC says in most cases it is safe for students to be in school five days a week with just three feet of social distancing. Tonight, Jeff Rusak looks at how the debate over the return of full-time in-person instruction is playing out in one community. The Grand Island Town Board wants Grand Island students back in school. All our state officials, all our town officials, all our county officials know we're putting children at greater danger. This effort is being led by board member Michael Madigan. He says schools, specifically the Grand Island Central School District, need to return all students to five day a week in person classes. The district is already facing a lawsuit over not returning all students to class. The town board has no power over the school district, so the purpose of this discussion at Monday's meeting was for one thing. Agitate, agitate, agitate. The more we can bring attention to this, the more likely that we're going to force people to do the right thing. That's what I'm asking. Do the right thing. The Grand Island superintendent did not attend this meeting, but he did send a letter outlining the district's position. The letter reads that elementary school students will be returning to classes next week and that the rate of infection in the county is too high for the district to return all secondary students. Superintendent Brian Graham wrote he wants schools to be fully open and can consider that when numbers decline to a level of less than 100 per every 100,000 residents in Erie County over a seven day average. Madigan doesn't want Graham to follow those state guidelines. The heck with what New York State says. It's going to be proven that's the right choice to make. Despite calls from the town board, the district will continue with their reopening the plan. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.